Hey everybody, this is your girl Nicole Tyler. You all know the rest. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you know when I'm going live. And like and share all my damn videos while I'm here to address Fire Babe. Um, she's, she just called into Teresa's channel. And also, when I was over there in the chat, James Caldwell was uh, on the phone with Tracy addressing the alleged homophobic uh, rant or something that Fire Babe said against James Caldwell. But really, that's not my issue with that. That's, that's not even my issue. My issue is with the roast and gag that Fire Babe did on me. Now, first of all, I feel that Fire Babe is jealous. And I'm saying that she is jealous, not of me, but she is jealous over the friendship that she perceives that Sean Bradley and Nicole Tyler have. Because Sean Bradley and I, we squashed our beef. We came together as adults. We put out three videos, maybe five or six videos of us having a good time. And us just being adult and mature and putting aside our differences, right? And what she saw was something genuine and organic that myself, Nicole Tyler, has for Sean Bradley. And I feel that he has the same genuine uh, feelings towards me. Now, we are both, Sean Bradley and I are grown adults and we both have YouTube channels. What I respect about Sean is he's still being himself and he respects me. I'm still being myself. Neither one of us has changed. We both have said we're not friends on YouTube, but we, we respect one another. So if I throw a little shade at him, it's no big deal. If he throw a little shade at me, it is no big deal. You know, because this is YouTube at the end of the day. Because we both know that in real life, we're really, really cool people. Now... I feel that she's just jealous because Sean Bradley dumped her as a friend. I felt that she had a lot of love and respect for Sean Bradley, but but Sean Bradley was like access denied. He saw something in her that was shady, that she was a liar, uh, that she was just not genuine, and he didn't want no parts of her. Uh, Five Babe, this is to you. He didn't want any parts of you, Five Babe. So why are you taking it out on me now, sis? Yeah, me and you did go back and we beefed a couple of months ago. Wait, well, when did we beef? Like in November or December? We beefed a long time ago. And you're still carrying on these uh, resentful feelings towards me. Fab babe, even me and Tracy, me and Tracy was really going hard at it because you, you do know Tracy goes hard. Tracy... <sighs> Tracy goes very hard when she when she is coming for you. Tracy has subscribed back to my channel. Okay? I've subscribed to her channel. Even though I think it's something in the system where we both can't see each other's text messages and things or when we're in the in the chest. I still haven't figured it out, Tracy. So, but still I have love for, still I have love for Tracy and we've put aside our differences. When it comes to you, Fire Babe, you are, in my opinion, you still hurt over the whole Kwani. Who doesn't like you anymore? On site April, who you was, you know, slobbering over, and she's your auntie, and you was just all over her for all those months, and you love her, and you you're mad because that that relationship has failed, and then Sean Bradley has no love for you, and then in turn, all of these people love me. I'm getting along with all these people that you want to have love for. So then you turn around and say some things about James Caldwell when really you, in my opinion, you made up that whole narrative, sis, because it all still stems back to Sean Bradley. Won't you just be real with yourself? Won't you just be real? Now, I think that that was a good, it was, it is it, something that could be talked about. Yes. But, but be, but be honest about it, sis. You was really, in my opinion, coming for James Caldwell because why would you even bring up James Caldwell? Why would you bring up that situation with with him having me, Tracy, himself, and Wally um, as being divas? And who would somebody kick out of out of the diva out of diva land? Uh, were you mad because you wasn't in in the profile? You wasn't in the picture because he didn't call you a diva? Like right? Like what? Like let's break this down, sis. What is the real issue? That is James Caldwell's platform. If he didn't see your ass as a diva, he didn't. He saw me as a diva. Thank you, James. Thank you. 
Thank you, James. Because like James was saying today, me and him, we have our little thing going on, but it's an understanding between us. That's what I like about James Caldwell. That's why people, are you going to drag him? No. Because he, it took him a minute to understand how I am. And I already knew how he was. A little bit. <laughs> but he, but he understands me. See, he's taking time to go back and research some of my videos. Because he understands that I am very misunderstood. And he understands that he probably sees all the hate that I get on YouTube and probably saying, let me research and see what the hell going on and see why people keep coming for this woman. That is what I'm saying. I don't know if he's doing this for real. I think he has done his research on Miss Nicole Tyler. So people don't understand the little relationship that James Caldwell and I have, but just know I have love for James Caldwell. I apologize to James Caldwell. <laughs> and he understands me. So that's what that means a lot to me. Apparently, Fire Babe, Tracy understands me now. Apparently, Sean Bradley understands me. Uh, Fire Babe, apparently, Kwani understands me. And Fire Babe, apparently, on site, April understands me too. So, whatever you keep coming for me, sis, and saying you're going to uh, make me an appointment and all this stuff for the dentist and all this stuff, you know what? I really was going to come at you and roast you for real. I was going to roast you, but then I, I said, no, I'm not going to roast her. I, and Because it's a lot of things that I can say, for real. It's a lot of things. See, let me tell you this. Why you just don't make a video saying why you don't like Nicole Tyler? I would respect you more if you did that. But you come on here trying to roast me about my appearance. Like, that's that, that has gotten old, sis. That has gotten old. People have already roasted me about my appearance already. People have already roasted me about my age. But here you come again because you still so mad at Sean Bradley and you want to attack me. Then you want to sideways attack James Caldwell and then say, oh, no, no, no. You apologize because you want that smoke for real. But I'm not even going to give you that smoke because you know what? I feel sorry for you. I feel so sorry for you because in your mind, you thought you had made all these friends and family and then... They saw something in you that was horrible. They saw something in you that was not legit. They saw something in you that was whack, lame, and disingenuous. You need to figure out what's inside of you. You saying that you're a prophetess. You showing up at Wireless Church, wearing tennis shoes, getting close to the damn pastor, enough to smell his breath, and then you probably had on a low-hanging shirt with those flat boots, probably trying to tempt the damn man. I, I don't put it past you. I'm, I'm not throwing shade. I'm telling the truth. Because it is it, it is some rumors out there on the YouTube streets. But if I have to roast and gag you, then I'll do that in another video. But you need to figure out why is it that you can't come and tell me why is it that you don't really like me? If you don't really like me, why watch me? And why keep clowning my teeth and all, and all these things? When I'm not even saying anything really about you on my platform. I'm really just paying you dust. Maybe occasional shade, but it's not nothing to where you have to say, Nick lying ass, Nicole Tyler. What did I lie about? What did I lie about? You need to figure out why everybody that you was cool with, that you thought you was cool with, I'm not rocking with you no more, sis. Nobody rock with you but Tracy and Rita. And you try and you, you try to accuse me of coming for Rita. When Rita came at me first, I didn't even know who this damn woman was. Like like James Caldwell said on Tracy's platform, I can make a video about who I want to make a video about. If Tracy if Rita then came at me on three videos, don't you think I deserve the right to do videos on her? I think that's how it worked on this sect of YouTube. Now, you trying to change the rules and trying to say I'm coming for a younger YouTuber when she came at me first. See, you don't know that. See, see, I ain't even going to go there. What I was going to say some, like I said, I'll save the roasting gags for another, another video. See, everybody who's been on my channel already know why I'm coming at Rita. Because Rita's coming at me. When it comes to that Miss Gina... Like I already explained that in the other video as well. See, Miss Gina, she was not genuine towards me. I apologize to her with tears in my eyes of what I said to another black woman. And then because she's rolling with Rita, who's in, the, who's in a chat clowning everybody, yelling at her kids, telling her kids to go get her cigarettes and doing some more ungodly stuff. She's in the chat, in the chat room cheering this stuff on. 
When she's supposed to be so godly, she should be like, sis, won't you get off this air and go tend to your little baby? Won't you get off this chat and feed your child? Your child back there hollering, screaming, but she back there, yeah, get her, get her. Yeah, she was with the garbage or whatever else Miss Gina was saying, but, but yeah, she's so godly. That she will sit there and hear a child crying and crying and crying and not, and not tell Rita to get off camera and tend to her child. But she's so godly. But yet yeah, y'all coming for me. Y'all coming for me. See, something is wrong with y'all. And I, I'm just tired of defending myself. First of all, the, the subscribers that I have, my subscribers love me and know me. This is not nothing new with Nicole Tyler. My, my my channel is a freestyle channel. If I want to come on my channel and sing, I will. If I want to come on and roast and gag, I will. If I want to send wet prayers to people who have passed away, I will. I do those things. If I want to, first, and another thing you said in your video, uh, Fire Babe, that I was trying to boost up something with um the people saying you owe that money. First of all, Fire Babe, you came in my life. You came in my chat that day. The people were saying these things about you, foul babe. I wasn't saying these things about you. I was reading the chat like you read the chat. And the chat was saying that they want their money back. They want their donations back from you. Won't you tell the truth? You will, You won't tell the truth. You trying to goop the kids. You trying to put out a false negative uh, narrative on me. When the truth is, I was reading the comments. And people were saying they want their money back from you because you're a fraud. Tell the truth. The video is still up. The video is still up. People were saying these things about you. Sean Bradley even said that he was looking at the live and said people was coming at you and that I was reading the comments and just embellishing a little bit what they were saying. I was reading it and just being like, fire babe. But yeah, you want to put all of that on me because you don't want to come against the subscribers because you don't want them to unsubscribe for you and dislike your video. Won't you just tell the truth? I was reading the comments. You was in the damn chat. They was coming at you. Just be honest. You mad at me over Sean. Just say it. You miss Sean's love, his affection, and his attention. You miss that he was the, he is the king. According to club chat, they love him. They call him the king. And at one time, you thought you was the queen. The queen. <laughs> but as you can see, they dismissed you. Access denied. They don't want you as a friend. You talk too much. Everybody says that about you. You tell every damn thing. You built your channel off of the whole TSCC name. I gave you the name CSI and you done ran with that. Now you're claiming you're changing your, your channel. You're doing this because you say you're growing. You're growing and that people are, I see you growing so they want to come at you. That ain't why people coming at you. Girl, look at your damn videos. That's why they coming at you. That's why they coming at you. Look at, you, look at yourself. You think that all these people are just making up stories about you because they see you growing? Girl, behind your back, everybody talks about you. Just like behind my back, they talk about me. I'm not oblivious to it. You oblivious to it. See, you are oblivious to that. You have to come on here all day and all night and in the morning and all that stuff. I come on here because it's a hobby to me. And I have an audience and I love my audience and I give them what I can when I can. But why are you coming on here? You coming on here still trying to send people to jail and still jealous of Sean Bradley left you and coming after his friend and coming after me. Because you ain't got no real wine or no real tea. Child fire, babe. I'll wait for your damn response, girl. And when I'm I'm just getting off work and when I feel like dragging you, because you say you're the dragging and dragging and all this stuff, girl. Well, I, well, you know, you got Rita the Roaster, you the dragon, and me. <laughs> you just you, you'll see what I got to say about you. But I'll hold on to that to, for another video. <laughs> I'll I'll save it for another video because right now I'm I'm just like looking at you like you a clown. You a clown. <laughs> girl, won't you go get yourself booked for some parties, girl? Because you a huge clown in these streets. And you don't even know it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, y'all. This is Nicole Tyler. I'll see y'all later on if anything pops off. Um, y'all know me. Sometimes I call into these shows. I was on uh, S underscore Hutchinson channel. I think last night or night before last. And um, you all might see me this weekend. But I want you all. Today is Friday. Uh, May 3rd, 2019. You all have a blessed, blessed, blessed evening. And I'll see y'all later. Mwah, mwah.